Hi everyone, welcome to morning coffee break. It's been a real aggravating morning already. Uh, yesterday, when we got home from breakfast and everything, I don't know if Joy might have left the lights on or something, uh, but we came back out to go, we were gonna go to Dollar Tree and uh, it was dead. And I've got one of these little charger things that takes a long time, you know, like a triple charger, what do they call it? I put that thing on there for about 14 hours and it still wouldn't start this morning. So I didn't know what I was gonna do. So I, I looked at my insurance policy. I've never had to use roadside assistance, but I looked at my policy and I've got it. So I uh, called them and the guy came out and started it. And he said, uh, you know, with a boost thing. Uh, and uh, he said, it wasn't my alternator. It would have died as soon as he took the, the uh, clips off of the battery. So at least we know it's not the alternator, but we're going to take it, after I'm done doing this, we're going to take it to like AutoZone or Advance and have them check the battery to see if I need a new one. Hopefully I don't need a new one. I can't, I can't handle any more, especially here at Christmas. You know, I just can't, it's going to come right out of anything we planned on doing, obviously. So pray that it's, Pray that it's not the battery, that they say the battery's fine. And I'm just hoping it was so dead that it wouldn't, I mean, it, it was gonna take maybe longer to charge it with that little thing or what. But it started right now, I got it here running to charge up the, charge up the battery and then we're gonna take it and see about it here after a while. It's been raining. It was pretty cool though. They had like a GPS thing to show where he was, like if he was on his way or anything. And I said, Joy, it looks like to me like he's sitting right out here in, in our uh, front yard, you know, in the, on the road here in the front. And I looked and there he was sitting there. And I had to, you know, motion to him that the garage was around back. Everybody's liking this rain. I like that rain a lot better than tap water. Everybody looking good. Looking good. Okay. I'm going to go in. I may not make this quite as long because this car's already been running for a while. But I'm going to tell our, our story. So I'll see you inside, everyone. Okay, let's get started on our story tonight i guess we'll probably eat out it's already been an aggravating today i didn't put anything out we were going to eat out last night we ended up having homemade pizza so that's the way things went so our story today is when i was in the cub scouts kitty don't knock stuff over be good uh each year they had uh what they called the Pinewood Derby. And they would give you a kit and it had like a block of wood in it and two like axles with tires on them and uh, the things needed to put it together. In other words, a kit to make a car. So you were supposed to, uh, I think your, your dad was supposed to be involved. Stop knocking stuff over, kitty. You're getting not messing with that stuff. I mean it. Now I don't know how I had this on here. Heck like that. She's been knocking these magnets off one by one. She, she ran off. <laughs> yeah, and every year they would have a race, you know, and it, you first prize you got something whatever it was it's was pretty nice maybe a little trophy and some kind of prize and second and third got you know some things so I was real fired up about it and he helped me my dad helped me make the car and everything uh, and I thought it was a good one because I did you know practice runs of course and stuff so when the big day came I don't know how it happened but dad broke uh, he broke a, the piece of wood that had a little groove in it to where the axle went in there and then that piece was attached to the car 
Yeah. And that was so the little, you know, thing with the tires on it, it would go in that little groove. Well, he broke that and he took like Elmer's glue and put a bunch of Elmer's glue on it and put it back together. And we didn't hardly even have time for it to dry right or anything. So, you know, I just knew I was all, I was a nervous wreck. I just knew it was messed up. And uh, when we went to, to, you know, when it was my turn for the race and you raced against, you know, another car and uh, when it went down the track, it just went as slow as I don't know what. And then it just stopped. So I was like, oh no, of course I lost, you know, but then I went and checked it and that glue had got all over the little axle thing, you know, and uh, it had, you know, kept it from rolling right, you know, so I, you know, I was mad about that, you know, but, you know, I, you know, you can't stay mad at your dad, you know, forever or anything. I, I don't remember what I said, you know, I probably did say something and then later on, I, you know, I regretted it, you know, saying anything to him because he did help and he did spend time with me and that's really what it was all about. So, um, you know, I was all, I was a kid, you know, probably 12 or something and you know, I was so excited and then it was embarrassing for me, you know, for my car just to stop like that. But, uh, you know, I, I forgave him and everything, not, not very long after that. And I, I know he felt bad about it anyway, but it's just one of those things, you know, I mean, it's like, a, you know, life throws you curves, curve balls even when you're a kid and you, you've got to learn how to, you know, just take it for what it is and not get so upset. And uh, I've been nervous today. Anything that happens to our car or, you know, I'm, I, we used to have an old, before this one, we had an old 88 Chevy long bed pickup truck. And that thing, I believe I had every part on that truck replaced so i mean it was always something with that so i just hope nothing starts this has been a good car we've not had anything go wrong and you're going to eventually have to buy a battery anyway it's been four years but you'd think it would last longer than that the factory battery um but they'll be able to tell when we go have it checked whether we need one or not and uh, um like I said, tonight we're just going to probably get something out as long as everything goes well. Um, I don't know if we'll end up going to do any of the hauls. I mean, I don't know if we'll go to the Dollar Tree or not to be able to do a haul. We'll just have to see how things progress as the day goes on. But I believe I'm just going to go ahead and cut this one short after story time today. Um, I've just got too many things to do. I hadn't had any breakfast and we need, and the car's running out there. So I guess I'll go for now and I'll update y'all later on. Uh, let you know something and we'll see you later, everybody. God bless.